Hey, what's up, everybody? Here to bring you a review. This time of the Mezco 112 Collective, Black Suit Spider-Man, aka Symbiote Spider-Man. So let's get started. If you've bought the previous Spider-Man, like Miles, who has the weakest of the three bodies, or you bought the regular Spider-Man, which was a huge improvement over that one, uh, be in store that this one actually uses the secondary body with a mix of the way it was done for Miles. So you can't see it here in uh, in the video, but you will as I get it closer. Is that a uh, You'll be able to see the seam lines on Spider-Man, which doesn't bother me, but I know it will bother some of you who look for a complete accuracy or want like this crazy movie look. It's definitely going to bother you, but uh, for me, it's not really one of those things that's bothersome. So if it bothers you, this is definitely not for you, but if it doesn't bother you, continue to watch. So I want to start off with the head scope. It's actually really done really, really well. I'm going to pop the head off. It's an easy pop off. It's done really nice. Made to replicate the original uh, symbiote costume, aka the black suit Spider-Man. And it's really done really nicely. It's a simple mold, uh, done really well. It's a th very, very thin neck like Spider-Man's. Because now you don't have the cloth to cover it or the, uh, how could I say, the regular material of the Spider-Man. And actually, let me bring it over real quick. Because even this Spider-Man's neck is actually really thin. But because of the design of the web lining, you can see that it looks a little thicker. But it's just about the same. Now, as far as articulation goes, like I said, it is a blend of the new Spider-Man while looking like the old one from the Miles body, but it's a huge improvement. So the arm actually goes up really high, and the pleather allows it to be a little bit more free. It doesn't feel like everything is tight or ruining everything. The arms are double-jointed. There's actually a very small butterfly joint in there. It's really, really nice. Um, I like that they've been constantly adding to this Spider-Man body to basically go, all right, how can we improve? How can we make this more spider-like? And the ab crunch is actually uh, pretty well done to the point where the head actually can look all the way down. The leg actually can come really high up very easily. It's one of those things where I was like, wow, this is actually really cool. Like, I don't feel like I'm actually going to break the figure. So Spider-Man can actually do a lot of acrobatic like moves. So as you can see here, you can actually uh, get your webbing on. Like, <laughs> you can actually do a lot of Spider-Man like moves. So even stuff like high jump kicks, rounding kicks, things like that. It's all very spider-like and can be done very easily. So I'm really enjoying it. The wrist on the ball joint is actually very nice. The one on my left hand is actually a little loose, but uh, it doesn't bother me pretty much. Something that I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. For what I'm planning on doing with this, is actually going to be pretty cool. So I'm really enjoying the nice round of articulation that I'm getting with this Spider-Man. And then even pose-wise, like I was saying, I can do a lot of cool stuff where for the black suit Spider-Man, it actually... It makes me really happy because uh, I'm going to rotate these joints. So, so web swinging shouldn't be an issue with this Spider-Man. Nothing should be. Now, the ankle pivot is that of the new Spider-Man, not of that of Miles. So, as you can see, it rotates the best of all three Spider-Man. Rotates flat out, all the way down, around. It's just simply not an issue for this Spider-Man. So, if you were wondering body-wise how this Spider-Man would stack up or articulation-wise... It's not an issue. This is single-handedly the best of the three in terms of articulation. It's the best one. I'm really happy. As far as the accessories, though, that's where you'll be a little short-handed as far as hand accessories. Because considering this is the Symbiote Suit Spider-Man, what you'll get is uh, very simple. You'll get the closed fist, which I want to point out that on the closed fist, they made it so that it's on the, the backhand side, so no thwip hands. But you will be able to do like... A, the web swinging hands they actually place the placement on top instead of the bottom of the wrist so as you can see here when you web swing with spider-man with this one it shoots out the top of the wrist like you would for the symbiote suit so i'm very very happy with that they actually looked out for that so that's that's really nice so real quick what i was talking about you'll get the web holding hands which keep it very simple nice and then you get the hands that you've always gotten with spider-man for some reason they won't give us two of each of each hand, you'll just get one of each. So this one is the wall crawling hand. This one is the more uh, dynamic flowing hand. So you just won't get two of each. You only get one of each. You get a web line, which is highly flexible, that you've gotten with every other Spider-Man at this point. These are really nice. You can use these for the web throw maneuver if you wanted to, or the lasso uh, bad guys. You get two thwip uh, shooting web shooters, one short and one long. You get the one with the web pocket at the end that allows for latching. And then you get the, the wide web line. So you get all of those. One of the really cool things that come with the Mezco Spider-Man 
are the uh, the clamp piece to hold it that's also magnetic. So if you have anything with uh, magnets around and you want them to be held up on magnets like your fridge or anything with a powerful magnet, you actually get one of these to attach to the back of it or whatever you want on the Spider-Man and pretty much hold them up to anything magnetic. So it's pretty cool. Easily, this one is probably my favorite in terms of articulation. Uh, I love the look. Uh, I actually love Black Suit Spider-Man a lot. So I actually get a lot of customs and things done. So this was a must-have for me. But if you already have a custom or you love the Marvel Legends one, you may not want to get this one. And it's totally fine. Uh, I couldn't find my other custom. It's somewhere around. But here's what the Black Suit Spider-Man of Mezco looks like next to a custom Body Coon one. Here's what he looks like next to the Marvel Legends one. Actually, let me just... So as you can see, the Marvel Legends one is actually pretty big. and holds its own against him. So this one looks slender and, and less muscular. This one definitely has equal amount of articulation. So depending on how you want it or what you're aiming for, you can totally get anything done with this. Now, how he stacks up with other lines and other things, we're going to see right now. Here's the Mezco Spider-Man next to a Marvel Legends Iron Fist. Then here he is next to a Luke Cage. And the reason why I'm showing them together because... Outside of having the symbiote here, Spider-Man wore a black suit replica while he was with the New Avengers during the Bendis run. So it'd be pretty cool to actually replicate that. So here he is next to some Marvel Legends. So this is with Luke. So as you can see, he, he stands in well with Marvel Legends. He fits in very well. He might be a little too big for SHF. Here he is next to another Mezco that's not a Spider-Man. So he is next to Cap. It's pretty decent size. A little bit smaller than Cap, but it works out. Here he is next to a 1,000 toy synthetic human carb. So if you want me building robots, this works out. The robots are a little smaller, but it looks pretty cool. Here he is next to an SH Frigots Kamen Rider. This one happens to be Gem. So next to SHF, Spider-Man is pretty big, but I think it worked itself out. So he's pretty big. Next up, I want to compare him to the other Spider-Man. So here you have normal Spider-Man, Mezco style, and then we'll have Miles on the opposite end. So all the issues that we face with Miles have since then been repaired, and they've given it the, the better body, obviously, of all three. So Miles, although very nice, just doesn't compare to the other ones. Miles actually happens to be, and looks a little bit bigger than Spider-Man himself. So, But that could just be because this Spider-Man actually has a the way his foot design is, is actually leaves him elevated a little higher off the ground, so that's why. But yeah. Last thing I do want to do is compare him to the Marvel Legends Rhino Builder figure for all the Spider-Man fans. And as you can see, this works out just fine to me. So some people may not like it, but I, I like the height-wise. It's really nice. It works for me. In the meantime, guys, hope you found this informative. I hope you enjoyed. And most of all, I want you guys to do good, be good, drink your water. Be safe out there, guys. Later.